And welcome back to our YouTube channel. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Today we are going to be talking about all the summer trends and the most wearable ones and the ones that I am loving and I think are super easy to work into your wardrobe. <laughs> so now that my little helper has gone, um, so I'll be talking about, I basically picked out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could have probably punched another one and done 10, but nine of the um, summer trends that I love and think are really easy to wear and showing you how to kind of work them into your wardrobe. So I thought this would be a really fun video to do. I totally miss the spring trends, which I normally do one every season. So uh, hopefully I can make it up with a really good summer trend one. So before I get into it, if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I do two videos a week. I do a styling video on a Thursday. I do five easy ways to wear something. Um, you can request if there's anything you want me to style, leave me a comment below. Um, and then on a Sunday, like today, I do random videos. It could be a haul, it could be a trend video, it could be another styling video, it could be anything. And if there's something you want to see, then just leave me a comment in the description below and I'll do that for you. Um, actually, I mean in the comment section below. Um, but in the description, uh, I will link everything. So anything that I've mentioned, I will link. I'm also going to try and remember to do, no, I will remember to do a coinciding blog post. So um for each trend i'll do like a roundup of my favorite items for that trend so the first trend that i want to talk to you about is the shell or like seashell pearl bitty <laughs> bitty more shell trend um so shells are literally everywhere i just saw the most amazing bag on mango i'll put a picture in here link below um that's got like shells hanging off of it it's incredible i really want to order it but i knew it wouldn't come in time for this video so but I'm probably will still order it myself. Um, but it's amazing. Um, and there's also bag there's loads of bags of shells on. There's anklets, there's jewellery. So for me, the most easy and wearable way to wear the shells is as jewellery. Um, and you can get it anywhere. You can get it from net porter you can get more high-end, you can get it from like eBay and Etsy, like beautiful handmade pieces, or you can get it on the high street for super cheap from like Topshop, ASOS. Um, but so I want to show you a couple of pieces that I've got in my wardrobe. So first I want to show you this beautiful necklace and this is kind of a mix of um, golden beads, uh, pearls and shells and I really like the fact that it's a bit of a mix because um, it's really, it looks really cute and kind of like almost handmade. I also have these little earrings which are super cute um, and these are actually not in stock anymore, these are from Verge Girl. The next trend, we'll talk about this one because it's right here at the front, is the midi skirt. Now the midi skirt I think came into its own like last year and it's literally taken me like a year to get on the midi skirt trend but it's fine because it's still everywhere and so popular and I've tried a few different ones from the high street and I just felt like they really didn't suit my style or my shape. I didn't find them flattering at all. Um, maybe it was a cut, I'm not sure, or the material, but I, I finally found this one, and it's actually from Nanushka, so it's not High Street, but you can, um, I will link some High Street alternatives, of course. And I just find the mini skirt is a really cool um, trend. It's really flattering. It's a great piece to take you from like day to night. You can dress it up with like a cami and make it look like a sexy kind of slip dress or you can do it with like a t-shirt or a jumper. So next I thought I'd go into another accessory trend and there's a few different shoe trends I want to talk to you about today um, but the first one is the minimal sandal or the 90s sandal or the strappy sandal or however you want to call it. Sandals that haven't got a lot there basically um, and um, I have lots of different pairs so I've just picked two to show you um, but I love these sandals styles so much they're so easy to wear they look really cool um, with just like jeans and a t-shirt they really dress it up and because they are a small heel they're really comfortable to wear every, all day and like I'm not a heels kind of person so these are perfect for me because um, if it's like a night out as well they look really cool um, but they're like just such a small heel so they're so comfortable and um, they also look amazing with the midi skirt and like little skirts and dresses they're just so easy to wear with everything um, and they're really kind of like sexy shoe trend but still comfortable which I feel like is really rare to find 
um, and there's so many other shoe trends I'm going to show you that are like more on the ugly side. So this is a really nice feminine shoe trend if you're not fancying like the ugly sandals and trainers and things. So another trend that I've spoken about on my blog before is the utility trend and the utility trend is so ever at the moment and I didn't really think that utility trend was something that I personally would um, want to invest in and wear but slowly I've realised that actually I thought this skirt was the first utility piece I got uh, I actually have it in two colours now because I love it that much um, but then I realised I have so much from this trend it's just such a wearable trend and I really didn't see myself ever having this much stuff in the trend but clearly I'm just loving it and I always thought it was going to be like a really cool trend that was some more like edgy girls but um, I feel like the fact that I wear it and have got so many pieces shows that it is actually super wearable and you don't have to be like head to toe in like full body you know the bags that like go across um, you don't have to do that to be in the utility trend there's like so many different ways to wear it um, so this jacket oh it's actually unzipped <laughs> that's like stolen my limelight I was going to show you that it unzipped um, it's really cool it's like a white it's kind of like denim it is denim but like a lighter denim um, and it's got these cool pockets. I really wish you could slip the sleeves off. It would make it even cooler. Because I've seen those utility vests. And I really like them. But I don't know if I'm like all in. So it would be amazing if you could slip the sleeves off this. Because then you could have either or. Um, but yeah. It's like a really cute little denim jacket. With a nod to the utility trend with the pockets. And then you can zip off this bottom layer. As you can see before. Um, and make it into a little crop jacket which is super cute and will be really nice on holiday and then this skirt which i have in two colors as i said previously you literally could wear this all the time it's my favorite i'm obsessed with the skirt i want so much um, it just looks really nice with the strappy sandals and the t-shirt if you wanted to go full out utility you could but i just think it's a really nice skirt it really reminds me of isabel morant too but it's actually from h&m and a major bargain so back to shoes and the literal opposite trend to the minimal sandals is the grandpa sandals and i've spoken about this a few times i've got a blog post on it i did a haul and i actually ordered some amazing ones from asos i'll link my asos haul um if you want to see they were 50 pounds and they were a great dupe for the prada ones um but these are the ones i have ended up investing in the chanel sandals i love them so much honestly they're so comfortable they're really cool and they're not too chunky um, so they don't look as like grandpa um, and feel so uncomfortable if you don't want to like go too far into the trends like I really love these um, and I think that I'll wear them even when it's not a trend so I've got quite a few accessory trends and um, the next one is PVC and this is definitely one that I did not see myself wearing at all like if you had told me she knows you'll be wearing clear pvc shoes and bags i'd be like no i am not that is disgusting um and honestly i'm in love like i just didn't think i didn't see it happening it's happened and it's good um so obviously there's some that are like way way out there then chanel bought out a pair and suddenly love it need it have to have it in my life and what I found mostly about the PVC shoes is that the high end really does um, it best. So I have um, done a blog post, so I'll link it with nine of the best um, PVC clear shoes. There are some more out since then, so I will say that. Um, but these are the ones that I chose to get and I literally adore them. They're so cool. Um, they just have this, I just love the pink heel. They're just so like understated cool or maybe they're not understated at all someone said that they remind them of like elwoods from legally blonde but i just think they're incredible they're so beautiful um and then also the less demure not that we've said these are demure is my karl lagerfeld bag so this is like all in on the pvc trend um so this is like clear but iridescent and it's a tote bag but also has a strap um and i feel like the pvc bag and the shoes are the best way to wear the trend honestly don't know if there is actually another way to wear it because would you be wearing clear pvc clothes i don't think so maybe a visor so the next one is long shorts and honestly long shorts is definitely not something i ever saw myself wearing um i'm and the same with midi skirts i'm such a mini i'm like jeans or a mini skirt or a dress that was me like i just couldn't find uh um anything i just found it so unflattering anyway 
I've got two pairs that I adore. They're both black, but I have um, just ordered actually. Oh no, I didn't. I took them out of the basket. I was about to order, but I took them out of the basket. And I really want a pair of blue long denim shorts. Um, so these ones, I love their denim. They're like a washed out black and they look really cool. Um, and they're kind of a bit more, if you don't want to go in for the cycling trend, then they kind of have the same look, but they're not as like, um, I don't know, in your face. You just, maybe if you feel uncomfortable about wearing something so thin, then you feel a bit more covered up and like you're wearing clothes. Um, but I love the cycling shorts. They're so comfortable. I love both. But the cycling shorts are so comfortable and easy to wear. This pair were like £17, honestly. They're so cheap and so it's a great um, way to like try the trend if you aren't sure because um, it's not like you have to invest a lot of money. And also, if you want to see different ways to style them, I have actually done a five different ways to wear the cycling shorts, so I'll link that up there too. Then the final clothing trend I want to talk to you about is the oversized blazer. And again, this has been a trend for a long time, but I feel like it's really going to come into its own in summer because it's such a nice lightweight jacket that's so easy to wear with summer outfits. And the oversized blazer honestly look, just looks incredible with a little dress underneath. It looks amazing, or with the cycling shorts and the t-shirt, um, and it's such a huge trend. This one's from ASOS, and I actually sized up to a 12. I'm normally a size eight. It's an oversized blazer anyway, because I want to do it super oversized. I think this one might be sold out, but I will link it in case more sizes come in. But do you know what I've seen is like the best trick ever to get the best oversized blazers? Go to the men's section, because they're gonna be oversized. Um, and I've seen a lot of people get them from the men's section in charity shops and it's just like such an amazing way to get affordable uh, oversized blazers. Like I'm going to go charity shopping this weekend <laughs> and try and find some oversized men's blazers because clearly that's where it's at. Then the final trend that I wanted to talk to you about is the chunky trainers and I feel like I don't really want to deliberate over this too long because we all know the chunky trend trainers have been on trend, been on trend for ages. I've got the Balenciaga ones, if you can see, um, that I love and wear all the time. They're probably my favourite chunky trainers. Um, but I also recently got these ones I want to show you guys because um, they're a more affordable pair and they're really cool. And they are the Balenciagas, literally. It's a workout to wear them. These are so lightweight and easy and comfortable to wear. Um, these are Skechers. Um, I can't remember. I think they're the d -Light but I'm not 100% sure, but I will link the exact pair. Um, they're just white, black, with that navy and red, um, and they look really cool. I wore them recently, I'll put a picture in, but also I'll style all of these outfits and show you like how to style them uh, in cutaways. They look really cool with um, just like a little skirt or some denim shorts. They look so great for summer, and do you know what they do? They make your legs look ridiculously skinny. That is one thing about chunky trainers. They are so flattering to wear. I know people think that they're like ugly, Honestly, they make your legs look ridiculously thin. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you guys found this helpful. Let me know what you think about the trends that I picked. Do you think I've, have I missed one? Have I missed a huge one? I'll probably get um, just finished filming and be like, oh, why didn't I say that one? But if you think I've missed one, then leave it in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite one as well is in the comments below. And are there any that you hate and you would never wear? Um, what do you think? I think the PVC one is gonna be the most Marmite trend maybe the grandpa sandals and the chunky trainers but I feel like people have kind of come to terms with the fact that those are like around though I did see the other day we were at Vista Village and we heard uh, an editor like slagging off an influencer who was wearing cycling shorts I was like oh my god get with the times get with the times now I'm gonna go and watch with continue watching with Housewives of Melbourne, which is why I constantly have got an Australian accent or keep putting it on in these videos. So apologies for that guys. Um I'll link everything below, including my outfit. This top is actually from Brandy Melville, so I'm not sure if I can link it, but if I can't then just go and find it in there. Um and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Come and follow me on Instagram if you want to see more outfit ideas um and like daily inspo, I'll put it there. Also, on my blog, I do weekly nine of the best of a certain trend or item. So if you want to see more of that, make sure you check that out. Um, and I will see you next week. Bye.